What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I finally constructed this thing behind me that has taken forever. It has been a pain, a torture to make, honestly. Um, yeah. Okay, so this actually took an abnormally long time. Not so much for like the printing and, you know, sticking together of the actual manga panels. No, no, that was the least of my worries. So how this nightmare, you know, first began is that every single wall in our entire house is painted in a waterproof, non-stick layer of paint. Basically, it is a nightmare trying to stick anything on it. The concrete is also really weird, so it's not like you can, you know, hammer a nail in and just hang everything from it. No. You know, the little posters that you've seen throughout the years. Let me tell you that it has been, you know, weeks and weeks of trying to like put layers of tape trying to glue them on. So you know like trendy things happen, TikTok happens. The first thing that I saw that I really wanted to get and modify my room a little bit with was the LED lights. As I already mentioned, my wall is non-stick and LED lights are sticky. That's the whole point. You know, you stick them on the wall and they stay there forever. So I get the LED lights and then a couple of days, you know, they're all up over here traveling all the way to my door. They start just falling off and we didn't know how to solve this problem. I still don't know how my mom solved this problem. I just know one day I came and they hadn't fallen and she was like, okay, like your lights are fixed now. I tried looking it and I thought at first that she used like um, a wall stapler, but I think it's actually just nails that are very, very like thin. So. Don't ask me, I don't know, they're there and they're gonna stay there. Next problem, as I got into manga and anime, you know, I saw a lot of like Pinterest rooms and people's rooms on TikTok and they had like this manga wall and I was like, you know what, that actually looks really, really cool. My walls are very bare at the moment. I need to try to do this. Hopefully, since it's regular paper, it's not gonna fall off like a poster would because it's not as heavy. So if I stick it with tape, it's gonna stay there. Spoiler alert, it didn't. So I stuck all of these together and I will show you pictures of literally an hour later after I stuck them. What happened? <laughs> yeah, they kind of all just fell apart, got crumpled up. It was really, really sad. They spent so much time and I thought it was gonna look really cool, but it didn't. So because I wanted like this backdrop for my TikToks, YouTube videos, it was just gonna be a really big part of like what I would do in the future, like filming wise, that I needed it there. You know, if you've seen my short videos of like my glass paintings, I would flip over the glass painting and you would have this as the backdrop. I would stick it every single time I would go to film that part of the video it would all come crashing down again every single day. So, you know, my mother was kind of tired of it. She was like, listen, I paid to paint these walls. You're not gonna keep ruining them by putting the tape on and then ripping the paint off. We decided to basically drill holes because that's, you know, the only thing we could really do. We had like this device that would scan if there was an electrical current that was going through the walls, which would avoid us from, you know, kind of electrocuting ourselves in the process of drilling holes. Well, not we, it was mainly my mother. I'd like to keep her around for a couple more years. You know, as we were going around scanning this part of the wall, it kind of beeped all over and it was not cute and we didn't know what to do. We figured it was something to do with the neighbor's wall as well. My wall is right next to the neighbor's house. You know, sometimes the device would go off, sometimes it wouldn't, so it was really confusing. We thought it was their problem, not ours. So we just drilled the holes anyway. <laughs> Don't do that. I had all the manga panels already stuck, obviously, from the times they'd fallen off put like this bamboo stick through like the hooks. That's what we drilled in. And then we just taped the manga panels and drop them down here. It's not perfect. There's this space between the wall and the panels. It is what it is. I still need to cover this side of the wall. I don't know if I can show you, here you go. I need more manga panels. So I've printed quite a few. There's even some from last time that are just like, you know, here. It's been a hell of a process. It's been a process moving everything around as well. I don't know if some of you remember or you've even seen in my videos, but in this area where I just showed you was actually my coat hanger. So I moved that, I moved this. <laughs> we were putting uh, the doors on these closets as well. Just getting crafty with it and hopefully I can spend more time filming videos here and it'll look kind of cool, you know? Oh my god, my neighbors are always coming. New neighbors moved into our neighborhood and they're always arriving at the wrong time. Like, I'll go get the post and they're there. Um, I'll start filming a video and they're there. They didn't say hello to us at all since they moved. They avoid us and any eye contact whatsoever. I did get a question on TikTok on how I made this. I really just printed the manga panels that I really liked from different manga that I've read. 
on just regular printing paper. I know some people go the extra mile and do it on poster paper, but you know, I thought that would cost kind of a lot because I have a lot to cover. So I just did it with regular paper and it worked fine. These two posters, this one, this one, and I actually have another one, where is it? Oh yeah, this one. The Jujutsu Kaisen posters. I bought all three of them together from an AliExpress shop. I'll put it in the description if you want to get them. They're actually very, very good quality. Don't look too close because obviously they're not real merchandise. It's AliExpress, right? They are a little bit like grainy, but if it doesn't look grainy far away, then the My Hero one, this I was not expecting. It's also from AliExpress. It took a hell of a long time to get to me. It's actually a material poster and I didn't want that, but there you go. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to get those, they're going to be in the description. I would have liked to put all of my glass paintings on display as well, but that's not going to happen because I have to put nails in the wall. And as I already mentioned, that's kind of not possible. So yeah, that was my whole story of how I built this manga wall. It's cute, it's nice, aesthetic. I still have a couple of things to add to it in the background. Look at this, lava lamps have a bottle top. What do you know? But I really wanna put it in the back as well. It's very like a vapor wavy. But yeah, that's that you guys. I'm kinda of thinking of shifting the content a little bit. You know, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more like K-pop videos really, unless I wanna to react to something but I'll be shifting it more towards like manga and anime related just because I've watched like quite a bit recently. I just finished Free yesterday. I know that was like an anime that was popping off at the time, but it kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. I'm no professional in any way, shape or form. I haven't spent years reading or watching, so I'm not like super aware of everything, but I find it really interesting. If anyone's here for it, hello. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the last video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.